I think it's extremely important for the kids in our community to see somebody like them, look like them, talk like them, walk like them, born and raised in this community, and show them that there's more than what they just see in their neighborhood. My name is Sinclair Hollinsworth, born and raised in the Bronx, Castle Hill section, and I am the Director of Operations for Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, right here we have the art room. Um, obviously arts and crafts. We have Miss Darylise in here. What group number is this? Nine. Nine. Is this the best group? Um, growing up, my life being six of seven, um, I am next to the youngest. My family, my father being a NYPD uh, officer, wanted to make sure our home was a safe haven. He opened up the doors for my friends. All of my friends are from Castle Hill. Um, and we were really able to kind of relax and enjoy being in a home. We had a pool at the time. We also had a basketball court. So all of my friends and um, the community in itself really knew my house, 709, was a big part of uh, the Castle Hill area and also kind of catapults me to kind of really getting into social service and giving back and wanting to help kids in general. I think one of the main things um, the pandemic and masking itself, it kind of got away from facial recognition and, and cues. You know, a lot of times you could tell if someone is distressed or stressed based on their face. And the mask kind of took that away. So what we really had to do is, uh, you know, make sure that the children are using their words to express how they were feeling. And I think coming back, that's one of the things that we're seeing as well. Some of the social cues that were normal, these kids are not picking up on whether somebody's playing or somebody being serious because of that time away from being able to see each other, um, you know, to in totality, their face, their, their expressions. So I think it's really coach, coaching them through what the new normal is, letting them know they're not alone. We're all feeling the, the effects of the pandemic and also supporting them. If we can't have, the, you know, if we're not in a position to, to serve them, we do have uh, partnerships with different mental health organizations that we can refer the children and the family to to kind of get them the help that they need.